Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel and to another video. I hope you're enjoying all of my videos. If you're new, my name is Christy. I do DIY home decor. I also do sewing projects and vinyl cutting designs and projects. So today's video is a simple spring project you can do at home. It is a monogrammed garden flag using simple fabric. I also use my Cricut machine for this project. You don't have to use it, but I'm going to show you how I cut out my monogram and also some appliques that I added to my garden flag. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So I found this placemat. It was on sale at Old Time Pottery and I think I got it clearance 50 cents. So I'm going to use that as the base of my flag. And I also got some fabric from Walmart. All of these came from Walmart. They were also clearance. But I'm going to do the monogram in white and some flowers in pink and gray stripe. And I also got this heat and bond. I'm going to need that for uh, my appliques. So I got on Cricut and I designed exactly what I wanted to do. I designed a C monogram and some flowers and I divided it into three different cuts and you can see how the Cricut will cut per color so I can put my fabrics on the mat and cut each section by color. The white is going to be my monogram. So I know I need a nine by nine piece and I'm also going to do the same for my flowers. This is iron on adhesive interfacing and it only has glue on one side and when you're ironing this onto your fabric, you want to make sure that your glue is facing your fabric so it irons and adheses to your fabric. But I needed this so that my Cricut would cut out my designs because it does require bonded fabric to do this process. So then I just stick my squares on to my cutting mat and you want a really sticky cutting mat. If it's not sticky like mine, mine's kind of old and the adhesive is gone. So I added some extra tape to secure it. And then I'm just going to put it in my Cricut and I'm going to start with my monogram and I'm going to load my machine and hit start. Leave me a comment below if you would like to see a video on how I use Cricut Design Space to do projects like this. So for projects like this, the Cricut works great. It cuts smoothly. If there's more intricate designs, sometimes your fabric will get caught, but for simple flowers like this and a simple monogram, it works great. So then I just took out all of my flowers and my letter. Now they're ready to place on my flag. So I just placed them in, in the position I wanted them to go. I just put a few pins to secure them. I sewed these appliques on using a zigzag stitch and I shortened down the stitch length to about a one and the width of the stitch length to about a four and a half and I made sure I was catching the green fabric as well as the applique. I did have to roll up my mat a little bit but for small projects like this, that worked fine.
So to make the hangers for my flag, I took a scrap of leftover material that I also used for one of my flower designs and I cut out a section that was about 7 inches long by 21 inches long and then I split it in half so I had a 7 by 10 and a half piece for each hanger and then I folded it right sides together and then I just sewed along two sides leaving one side open. Then I just flipped it out and ironed it. And now I'm ready to attach it to my flag. When I sewed these on, I just used a simple straight stitch. And this is how it turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Um, leave me a comment if you like my videos and I will see you in the next video.